I, you know, I have like a dream list of people I want to interview. Um, who would be at the top of that list? Um, Elizabeth Gilbert would be amazing. Brene Brown would be amazing. All of the incredible women that I follow and admire. I am Tina S. Maker, and I'm an editor and writer, and I'm co-founder of The Great Discontent. Ah, so I've interviewed nearly 300 creatives. I think the top theme is that no one truly knows what they're doing, and that makes me feel great because when I see someone who I really admire, who I view as successful, who tells me that it wasn't their plan to do all the things they did, I feel like I can achieve my dreams too. There's this mantra that I kind of operate by called run to the roar and um, I was making a really difficult decision in my life and I was so scared and a friend said that to me she said just run toward it um, it seems like it's there's probably this scary animal at the end like this big lion or something you know and but when you get there it's probably just gonna be a small house cat meowing instead and what that means to me is that we project our fears onto things and make them seem so much scarier than they actually are. So I don't think it's about being fearless. I think that bravery is about acting in the face of fear. So I just try to do things afraid and uh, fake it until I make it. <laughs> I would say if you want something, go after it. If you want to meet someone, reach out to them. If you want to apply for a job, do it. Don't wait to feel qualified and don't wait for someone else's permission because those two things will never happen. You have to just take it. You have to just do it.